Hey there, chat. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm ready for this. But, you know, here we are. Final chapter. Chapters. Of. Attack on Titan. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm in a little bit of a panic, not gonna lie. Um, because this, uh, this show's been with me through thick and thin. It's, it's been with me for a while. And, uh, and yeah, the idea that, uh, it's all gonna end today. I mean, we'll still have the anime, but, like, no, no, it'll, it'll be fine. The mods, the mods have got this. The mods have got this. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, but behave, chat. Behave. Behave. Play nice. Play nice. Alright. <clears throat> and yes, yes, if anyone in chat, if you're if you're truly, truly scared and afraid, uh, then you know, emote only mode reward thing is that that is a thing you can spend your berries on. But um yes, thank you mods ahead of time. Thank you, thank you. But before before we get like fully into this, um let's let's uh let's let's recap a little bit of the the story for me personally with Attack on Titan. Technically my first anime was Naruto, right? But but I didn't really seek out anime until Attack on Titan, you know. I'd see an anime and I'd be like, oh I don't know, you know, I don't think I'd like that. It looks kinda dumb, you know. Oh, what is this Death Note thing that Netflix keeps showing me? That was Netflix's basically only anime back in the day. But, but then my friend from school... Oh, oh and there's, uh, there's an emote mode. <laughs> Redemption, okay. <laughs> but then my friend's from school. My friend from school, he, uh, he was kind of the one that I would talk to about, an about anime. Because he was actually into anime. He would watch it and stuff, right? So I'd, I'd you know, ask him about, like, oh, what's good? You know, anything I should check out and... And there was a point where he was like, I've been, I've been watching this show, and it's crazy, and you should watch it, but, and I was like, I don't know if I'm really, you know, he was really wanted to talk about it, and I was like, yeah, it's fine, you can spoil me, I'm probably not gonna watch it. He's like, well, it's called Attack on Titan, and just got to this part where there's these giants, and the main character just gets eaten right at the end of the episode. He pulls his friend out, you know, and he's got the one leg that's already been bitten off, and he just, just chomp, he's gone. And I was like, really? That, that, huh. Color me curious, you know, because he was watching it week to week, and that episode had just come out, you know, episode five, right? And I was like, well, okay, maybe I need to check this out, because the idea of the main character just dying early on in the, in the story, I was like, okay, that, that seems pretty cool. That that seems pretty dope, right? So then I checked it out. Watched the first episode, and I was like, eh, I don't know. Seems a bit edgy, a bit try-hard. You know, too much blood and stuff. Okay, tragic backstory. His mom gets eaten. All right, you know. But then on a whim, one day later, I was like, you know what? I'm at school and don't have many classes and things like that, but I'm going to be here the whole day. I'll, I'll check out that second episode. I was in the library. And there were these two cheap chairs in the library. There, there's all the regular desks and things in this library with the uncomfortable chairs and things like that. But these two chairs were the special chairs because they had, like, really nice cushions. More importantly, they were right next to an outlet. Pulled out my laptop, plugged in my headphones, sat next to that outlet on this cushy chair. And this is right next to the main stairs that go up to, like, the next level of the library where all the regular study areas are, you know. And I watched the whole damn season right there in that chair. You know, eight hours or whatever it was, right? I didn't really have anything I needed to do that day. And, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. That was, from, from there on, I was, I was solid gone. I was, I was just, whew. Could not shut up about this show. And, you know, that season two wait. It was impossible. It was insane. It was it was ridiculous and 
Titans in the walls. Holy shit. Then four years later, after many adventures on Tumblr with theorizing and fan fictions and RPs and cosplays and all that stuff, we got the second season. And we were doing the channel by that time, so it's like, okay, cool. Sweet. We're, we're doing this. But, um, yeah. That, that, that first season started my whole anime journey. Like, I'd watched... I watched Death Note, Bleach, Naruto, and I think maybe Black Lagoon. No, not even Black Lagoon. No, yeah, I'd, I'd watched like just a just a couple anime, and then just couldn't get enough of this anime thing. Right, I'm trying to find something that scratched this same itch, and now here we are. It's going to end. I am not ready. I know I am not ready. I have drinks of various different varieties. I've got a shit ton of water, a ton of tea, and a ton of something that looks like tea but very much is not tea. I mean, for Twitch's sake, yes, it's, it's tea. It's, it's tea. Might be in a bottle, but it's tea. Um, so... Before we get into this, we're going to do a little bit of recap over how we left off at 135 and go through some falls and some subs and things like that. And then. What am I talking about? And then we'll go. We'll go. I was spoiled on one thing about the ending. Um, it was a character death. The, the, there were a lot more spoilers in the thing, but I only really, like, caught one. Um. But, uh, it was a doozy. And that sucks, but I'm, I'm still going to enjoy the hell out of it. And it did seem like, from how things are going, it was kind of leading up to that. But, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So. So. Let's, let's do this. So, first things. First... Oh, Aaron Luffy, Wooly789, Caden, Gardalak, Bankrupt by Banks, TKG, mg, mg, and Chadoto, Hediver, JT Louis 10, and Makor5, thank you for the follows, and then Jenny Monty, thank you for the tier 3 sub for four months in a row. Susume Jacob, Susume, yes! Yes, this is, uh, oh boy, oh boy. And then, oh, Apollinon, Apollinon, thank you for the tier one sub for 23 months, and Vrakos, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub for 28 months, Pog indeed. All right, and uh, Kuri115, thank you for the follow. So, now that we're here, Where'd we leave off with in uh, 135? Well, you know, Falco's all flying them up to uh, to Aaron and everything. Wait, hold on. I went the wrong direction. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How's this work again? That's right. Right to left. Yeah. So, Falco got them away from Aaron. And, uh, yeah, Annie's there and everything. Peak. I'm not sure if she's still in her tough situation or not. Is she still hanging? She might be. And then, of course, and then, of course, yeah. We need to get Armin so that he can actually transform. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you know what? I can't, I can't take this suspense. Let's go into 136. So, starting 136, chapter 136, devote your hearts. Damn. Okay, actually, hold on. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to bust out the tea for this, so I'm just gonna drain, drain these tea bags real quick. I hope this has some semblance of a happy ending, like, 
I know it probably won't, like this is Attack on Titan after all, but I, I really hope so. I really hope so. Okay. It's a bird, and people are riding on it, but... What are you doing here? Gabby, what did you expect when you left us behind like that? You know that we can fight too. Annie! The Azumabito ship sunk. What? It couldn't withstand Falco's transformation. We weren't even sure that he could fly, but Kiyomi was okay with it. Oh, and let us go. That's why we need to stop the rumbling! We need to repay her kindness. Gabby. Falco. Do you remember your promise to me? Of course I do, Mr. Braun. You are going to save Gabby from the dark, dark future we face. I will. So, how's our... No. How's Peak? What's her status? Armin's been captured by the Titans. His life is in danger. The, that, the titan that took Armin should be by the tailbone. Annie. Help us. Your childhood friends just... just love getting kidnapped, didn't they? Don't they? Of course. I'll get him back. What about Peek? She's by the skull. We tried to blow the nape up, but the warhammer is stopping us. Blow it up? We've trapped... We've trapped explosives around the nape. But we couldn't hit the trigger. Both. We're getting... we're doing both. One group will rescue Armin. We can use the Colossus Titan's explosion. The other will go after Eren and attack the nape at the same time. We'll split into two teams and do it simultaneously. Captain! We're not in a place where we can be concerned about Eren any longer. No. We never were to begin with. But... But? But what? We would have died back there if not for this flying miracle we're on now. Yeah. Without having done a thing. John. There was a whole lot I wanted to tell you, to tell that idiot, but... Damn it. I'm the same. I don't want to give up on Aaron, but... It's my fault that the captain can't fight right now. What's more, we're up against the founding titan here. Do you really think we'd be able to go easy on it? Mikasa, we need to kill Eren. Okay, yep, this is, this is that question. This is that question. Oh boy, oh boy. Because Mikasa, right here, you're the one that has the best shot of actually doing it. But can you do it? And is this why Eren said those things to you, you know? Said those awful things, so that you could at this moment? So that you could truly be free? Mikasa, just focus on saving Armin. You don't need to think about anything else. Okay. All right, okay, she's, <sighs> she at least gives verbal assent to the idea, you know, but Oh, man. When Aaron's head went flying... When Aaron's head went flying... What? I shot Aaron's head off with an anti-Titan rifle right before he managed to touch Mr. Zeke. I can't wait for when Caleb sees that part that is going to be so amazing. In fact, we're so close to that in the anime. It just blows my mind. Uh... When I did, something jumped out of Aaron's spine. It looked like a shining centipede or something. And it connected to Aaron's head. Oh. What? Gross. What? Gross. That's the founding titan. No. If that's the true nature of the founding of the power of the titans, we might see it again if we decapitate him. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Hell yeah.
All right. Wow. They're heading back toward the attack titan. We won't give up either. Even if it's just a cannon or two, it's still better than nothing. Refugees? Wait! They used to have armbands on their left arms. You're Eldians, aren't you? Hey! No! Hold on! We're just here to ask you to help our, our wounded. We're in no situation to do that. What are you really here for? Mr. Leonhard, now do you understand? Marlene's soldiers aren't going to help us. Looks like we outnumber them. We have more experience in battle, too. You've sent us to the front lines time and time again for the sake of you Marlians, after all. Put down your guns, Eldians! Damn it! Stop! I said put down your guns! What? Driver! Since when did you... Secretary Mu Mueller? Huh? What was that? Oh, shit. They just... Did they just start opening fire and killing each other? And so the cycle continues. They're still at each other's throats. Falco! Watch out for projectiles. Here they come. Now, speed up! Hold on! Okay. Oh, boy. Let's go. All right, let's go. You go help Armin. We'll come back later to, with Falca to back you up. John! Reiner! Please, don't die on us! Yeah, same to you. I'll get the attention of the Warhammer Titan. Hell yeah! Just think, just think, where we were in season two, right? Was it all a lie? Come find us. Do you really think we'd actually enjoy killing people? Who does that, right? And now, don't die on us. Same to you. <sighs> Glad you enjoy the measuring cup. Yeah, people always get a kick out of this. I really like tea, and this is the best way to actually drink a lot of it. But just think about it. I don't think there's any doubt in Reiner's mind right here. Like, you know how all the times that he's wanted to die over the course of the recent, you know section of the story this is resolve right here our boy's gonna fight i'm so proud of him yes go reiner go <laughs> now sean okay okay makes an opening just hold on reiner just wait until i detonate the uh what 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 what, what? So there's steam coming off, okay. Ugh, more help? Yeah, makes sense. Oh. Gotcha, right, because they... Okay, mm-hmm. Gotta get peak. Is she coming out of her Titan? No way. No way. No way! So she gets out of her Titan, starts running down the pitchfork... <laughs> Knowing how to vertically maneuver must be nice. And she transforms a second time. A second time in a row. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Okay. So she transforms again. All right. <sighs> and just rips out the nape of the Warhammer. I don't think that'll do anything, right? Because at this point, it's just... It's just hardening. Damn it! You can't get close! Whoa! No, Peek! Get away! Oh, shoot. Yeah, she's in trouble. She's in trouble. Alright. Um, hold on. Hold on. Wait. Oh, shit! 
hold on. So, Peaks Titan, at, uh, page 23, top panel, just gets eviscerated by, like, Wolverine Claws, basically. And then... What? John. John. If you think I'm a, I'm a Titan that's only good for odd jobs and not fighting, you're dead wrong. Wait! Wait, what?! No! No, you are kidding! She transforms three times?! Isn't Aaron the only one we've ever seen do that? Like... Like, I know that, like, Peek is popular and her waifu, you know, power is very high, very strong and stuff, but damn, Isayama. That is, that is ridiculous. That is, that is absolutely ridiculous. That can't be sustainable or, like, something that she can just do all the time, because that is, that is so nutty. That is so nutty. Oh my god. But yeah, there's still just so many of them. There's still so many of them. No way. No way. And then she ejects again. She ejects again? And that was almost like an explosive ejection. Like, how did she even do that? Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. The, cart's ti the cart titans thing was always endurance. Oh, okay. Okay. With the cart titans endurance, with the cart's endurance, as long as they don't take me out, I can fight until we win, even if I have to try hundreds of times. So, John, you don't need to worry about me. Just ignore me and go blow up. Oh, and he's already on it. He's like, yep, I, I understand that you are indeed amazing and you can handle this. Yeah. Yeah, rest in peace, Mappa animators. This is going to be just ridiculous. This is going to be un unreal. Okay, okay. Whoa! <sighs> yeah. Well, even if I won a hundred times, I guess that still wouldn't mean much against a million enemies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love, I love the scale of this transformation so much. Like, I, I can't even begin to think about how they're going to try and do this in the anime. Like, this is going to be so insane. Insane. Oh, man. Like, like, just look at the scale of it. First panel of page 27, right? Chapter, you know, 136. Just look at the scale of Eren's form. That is ridiculous. Even with Falco in Titan mode, you can see the little people on, like, I love this, I love this. In that panel, you've got Falco, Falco in his, you know, Falcon form, basically, right? You know, his, his Titan form for scale. But then you've got the people on him for scale, right? And then far away, far away, but still dwarfing Falco. And then with the Titans on top of it for scale, like, the titans on Eren's form are smaller because of distance, you know, uh, like, look smaller because of distance than the people on Falco's back. Like, like, d d what? What? <laughs> oh, and yes, thank you, chat, for working together. Shinzo Sasageo, pledge your hearts. I, I appreciate it so much. Okay. Even Bertolt's being used as a puppet. Unforgivable. There. That one. The pig or whatever that titan is. Which one? That one. Over there. That thing. Where? Yeah, how, how the hell would you even point the mountain in something like this? Which of the nine titans would it be? The cart? The beast? Maybe the jaws? That doesn't help. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Yeah, the claws are looking like a spider on the back. Like, <laughs> oh man, oh man. Oh, oh, okay. Mikasa, you need to take this seriously. I am. Oh, only one is running away. That, that's an Okapi. I don't know what that is. Go, Falco. We'll corner that pig or whatever it is while it's on the tailbone. Then we'll stop it. Let's get Armin back. 
Okay. And Annie's leading it. Annie's leading it. Hell yes. Oh, man. Okay. And they transform. I can provide cover with this anti-Titan rifle. You won't kill any of these Titans with that. Where is Zeke? Where is he? Even if I did find him, though, I'd just be a burden in this state. Damn it. I've never bungled one of his orders. Not even once. And yet, for some reason, his final order is the one that I just can't. Our role may have ended there. We got those brats to the sea. If that was the extent of our role, tell me. You did. Oh. You guys devoted yourselves. Was that in order to trample the hearts and lives of others? No. When we dreamed of a world without titans, I'm pretty sure that was an absurdly innocent and idealized world. Because if it wasn't, it won't have been worth what they devoted. <laughs> Merwin, I... I didn't pick you. And I have no regrets about that. About entrusting the future to that kid who had the same look in his eyes as you. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to run away toward the head. Annie. Oh, and we cast to save an Annie like that. Oh, yes. 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 Okay, so this is something that I've always kind of wanted to see, right? And of course, Mikasa or Levi would be the only ones that would actually be capable of pulling it off. But 3D Maneuver Gear is fast, but it does have its limitations, right? You don't, you can't go infinitely fast. And on the scale of something like this, right, right, it's just not quite enough. But with an Ackerman body that can take the G's and the accelerations and all that stuff, right? Fuck inertia. Grappling onto a hand to then throw the person, like, that callback basically to when Annie was, like, spinning the guy, you know, in season one and just tossed him, right? Except this time, this time, it's an offensive maneuver. It's, it's a supporting role. She's, she's hucking the Ackerman towards the objective. Like, how amazing is that? How awesome is that? Going from Mikasa cutting Annie's fingers in season one and just lightly stepping on her face and being like, Annie, fall in that iconic shot, right? Now, now it's Mikasa, fly. Boom. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay. But the, well, you know what this also does? It also makes it so that if it's going towards the nape or towards the head, right? Mikasa's getting flung over there. She might be ahead of the party. So she might be in a position where she's faced with the whole idea of, okay, Aaron's here, and the, everyone else is kind of not over here. What do I do? Do I actually hold to those words that I, that I said earlier? Can I? Okay. Stop right there, Okapi, or whatever the hell you are. Huh? Oh. Oh, shit. And then the Titans themselves bury it. To protect it, okay. Yeah. And then, yep. Out of my way. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit! And this one's armored. Oh no! Oh no! Her sword's broke. Wait. Uh. Uh. This is a problem. This is a problem. No. 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 Armor. Oh no. Uh, yeah, woo, woo, and then Annie comes in and saves Mikasa, the ship lives, if any of you were in the fandom back in the gap four years, that was one of the, one of the, the more powerful ships in the fandom, Annie, you can't go off on your own, they'll kill you in no time flat, the pig, Oh no. It's heading for Bertolt. Hey. <laughs> just that whole page. Just that whole page 37 right there. 
Page 37, chapter 136. Just, just, just look at that. Look at that. Annie, with the two of them, looking at all those titans, including the colossal titan, just suspended there. And then the shot at the bottom, the panel at the bottom, where they're just completely surrounded. And they're standing on her shoulders, like... <sighs> oh. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is kind of, kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Oh, this is curious. Why? Why won't my body move? Please! You have to move! Everyone's... Everyone's going to die! Reiner. Peek. John. Connie. Picasso. Annie. All of them! Don't you get it? They're going to die! Wake up, you piece of trash! Holy bastard! Useless idiot! I hate you! I always have! You've never done anything but betray me! The life I was given. The expectations, the responsibilities, everything! All of it! You haven't even been able to give them anything in return. So why are you dead like that? Move! I said move! Sand. Think. If I really was dead, how would I be able to think with no oxygen coming to my brain? This... this isn't a dream. It's not a vision. It's not even the afterlife. This is the path. This is reality. I'm supposed to be in a titan's mouth right now. So why do I know what everyone's doing? Because all Eldians are connected via this path? In that case, there might be something I can do here. Yeah, think. Think! Um... I am very curious what this is. Like, is this gonna end with Armin going and talking to Eren? Like, we've seen happen so many times earlier in the show. Like, like, what? What? Uh, uh. <sighs> Come on, what? Why, why are you not loading? Go to the next page. Oh, Zeke. What? And he's just, what, playing with sand? Hello, Mr. Zeke. Hello, Aaron's friend. So you mirate you too. Okay, you mirate you. Mmm. Hmm? What? Not. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Wait, what? Wait, wait. So, chapter 137, and um, holy shit, this beginning. What is this first page? What? Uh. Uh. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, first page, first panel. Space, the planet, the sun, you know. Vast darkness and all, all that. Long, long ago, when nothing but mere matter existed in this world, as countless masses of some unknown things appeared, disappeared, then appeared again, one of them eventually survived. We now know it as life. Okay. We going, we going back to the beginning. The reason that life ultimately survived was because it was in its nature to multiply. Life took new forms in order to multiply, adapting to every kind of environment, and eventually leading to us as we are now. It sought numbers, it sought to spread, it sought abundance. And so, this is to say the purpose of life is to multiply. All right, all right, I like it, I like it. Chapter 137, Titans. Okay, okay, we're doing this. <laughs> I 
Hold on, just a sec. I'm gonna get some, gonna get some more tea of a different variety. Just. Chapter 137, Titans. This sand, these pebbles, the water, they don't seek to multiply. But life never stops in its frantic quest to do so. After all, death and extermination of the species runs counter to the goal of multiplying. That is why we face the punishment known as fear, and why that child so desperately sought to avoid such pain. Something stronger, something larger. She gave birth to an undying body, and then she escaped to a world that was free of even death. That girl was Ymir, the founder. In this, is that world free of death? In that case, what exactly is Ymir's goal? I myself spent an, an astounding amount of time here, trying to understand her. In spite of all the strength she had, she could never defy King Fritz. Why was that? For two thousand years, she remained here, obeying him. What was the reason? Yes. She did still feel attached to the world she left behind. Aaron was able to understand that when I couldn't. And that is why Ymir went with him. You have to tell me. Isn't there some way of getting back to the outside world from here? Who knows? I think it's impossible now. I haven't given up on anything yet. Why? Well, to continue to multiply. Is the continuation of your species that important a task to you? What's happening now? Could be considered the miserable sight of life forms controlled by fear. The kind of fear brought about by completely pointless vital activities that... My friends! They're fighting right now, because we can still save so many people from terror. What we're doing is fighting fear. What would be wrong with losing that fight? You know that to live means to one day die, does it not? Who knows? Perhaps one final mo once final moments brings relief. Oh, and then they show Reiner. Maybe the end of your days being manipulated. All in the name of multiplication without ever knowing if it means anything at all. Feels like freedom. Oh, and then the leaf in the sand, and then, oh, remembering those days, and I love how it's from his perspective, always in the back, right? The sun was starting to set. We were running to a tree on the hill. The three of us were racing. Aaron brought up the idea and took off out of nowhere. Gossa ran too, but stayed behind him on purpose. And of course I was dead last. But... The breeze was nice and warm that day. Just running felt good. Leaves fluttered everywhere, and... For some reason, I thought then... Maybe the reason I was born... Was so that the three of us could be racing there. I thought the same thing when I read books at home on, rainy, on a rainy day. And when a squirrel ate some nuts, I gave it. When we all walked around the market, too, I, I felt it. That these trivial moments might actually be precious. Oh, and the, the leaf, the leaf and the ball, and oh, I love it. I love it. That's this... 
It was buried in the sand. Why is that? Who knows? But to my eyes, even if there's no need for something like this in order to multiply, it's still something incredibly precious. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome! Now here's the question. Where does that come from? Because it's in this world, it's in this space, right? And it looks like something different to each of them. So is that actually Aaron's doing possibly? Hmm? Hmm? Sips, not totally, definitely tea, you know, suspiciously. Yes, you're right. Just throwing, catching, and throwing again. That simple repetition doesn't mean a thing, but you're right. I would have much rather just kept on playing catch. Oh, yeah, yeah, and and okay. Let's look at the people that we see in this image here, right? We've got the warrior candidates, you know, with with Zeke, right? We've got Marcel, we've got Porco, right? We've got Xavier. We've got our Ymir, you know, not the actual Ymir. And then I can't tell who the person is next to Grisha. And then we've got Grisha. And Grisha's at the edge there, right? Because that was the thing he always wanted from Grisha. And the thing that he got from Xavier. But then he forgot about it, right? If you could have a bunch of other people, a bunch of other kids, Zeke, experience playing catch with someone like Xavier. Or, you know, some equivalent, right? Would that be worth it? There's this song. There's this song that I absolutely love. It was, I think it was made for Meet the Robinsons. If you haven't seen that movie, it's a, it's a criminally underrated movie. But, um, and it's called uh, Little Wonders. And the, the chorus goes like, Our lives are made in these small hours, these little wonders, these twists and turns of fate. Time falls away, but these small hours, these little wonders still remain. I feel like that, that song basically sums up this entire sentiment here. There's also a wonderful AMV for it with Usagi Drop, the anime only, of course. I um, highly recommend you check that out. It's, it's wonderful, but... Yeah, Zeke, would you take away the ability to have those ti that time playing catch with Saver? Would it make all the pain that you went through worth it? Even if it can't measure up, right? Even if you can't say that it justifies, because it certainly doesn't justify the pain that you went through, right? Would you really want to take that away from people? Would you want to take that away from yourself? Isn't that something worth fighting for? You were born into this world, after all. Yep. Okay, back outside, the land of the living. Let's go. Peek! Yeah. <sighs> okay, so he saves her. John comes in, saves her like a boss. Wait, if John and Pete get end up getting together, that would be so amazing. That would be so amazing. I would love that so much. That would, that would just be so cool. I can keep fighting once my arm's fixed. You're at your limit. We need to we need to retreat back uh back to where Reiner. Oh shit. Reiner! Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's uh, I think I think that might be bad. I think that might indeed be bad. Well, of course Reiner takes on like a billion titans. And then eventually gets taken down, because of course he would, right? Eventually that's going to happen. <sighs> Jean, peek. <sighs> oh man, it's getting away. The little varmint's getting away. Oh shit, Annie's getting tackled. <sighs> Annie! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, and she's lost an arm. Okay, okay. Wait. No! 
No! Yeah! Wait, 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 wait! Is, is that actually Bertolt? Is that actually Bertolt? There's, there's no way. There's no way, right? Because all these Titans are just, are just, you know, under the control of, of, you know, Aaron and Ymir and, you know, the whole founding situation, right? What? Bertolt. What? Porco! Marcel! Galliard! What? Ymir? Did he just save us? Bertolt? I don't know, but I'm not wasting this opportunity. Okay, goes to leap. Bam. What? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Gabby! Woo! And Levi helped her aim. Levi helped her aim from atop a flying creature. Oh my god, yes! 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 <laughs> Gabby coming in clutch. And the amount of, like, oh my god. The way that that would have had to have been set up, right? Both with Levi helping her keep it steady, Falco flying so perfectly straight and, and steady so that that way she can actually line up the shot. Now, granted, she hit it in the eye. She probably intended to, like, hit it in the neck to blow off its head or something, right? Shoot out the nape. But, but, oh my god, yes. I hit it! Give Armin back! And, yes! Get him! Get him! Armin! What? No, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. Come on, just use that to transform. Well, okay, Mikasa's right there. Maybe transforming right now isn't exactly a good thing, but. Ah! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. Wait, no, Armin killed it. Armin killed it with a thunder spear. Yes, yes. Ah! Ah! Okay. All right. All right. Sweet. Annie. Okay. So, what are you going to do, Armin? Annie. Armin. Annie, behind you. Sorry, everyone, but we're okay now. Uh, okay. All right. Page 28. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait! You're kidding! You're kidding! No! No way! Hold on! Hold on! We got Grisha! We got Xaver! That's Xaver over there! We got... What? What? <laughs> What's going... What's going on? The Titans are helping us? Seems that way. Hey! Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hey! Over here! What? No way. Oh! What? Wait, 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 wait! Yo! No! No, you're kidding! You are kidding! Hold on, if this happens, if they kill- wait, if they kill Zeke here, does Eren get cut off from Ymir? Does Eren get cut off from Ymir, or is it too late now? Like, wait, hold on. You wanted to meet me, didn't you, Levi? Can't say I wanted to do the same. Zeke. What the hell's going on? It's thanks to Mr. Zeke. Zeke? He woke up everyone who was asleep, in the world of the paths, where neither life nor death exists. Every Eldian is connected to one another by the paths. I think it's because the founder Ymir wants us, wants to be connected, because she wants something from us. Berthold? Mr. Xaver, our dream was never realized. I still don't think the euthanization plan was mistaken, but if it meant getting to play catch with you again, I guess I wouldn't mind being born once more after all. 
So... I suppose I'll thank you. Dad. I took everything from you. Your life. Your power. Even your precious memories. That's why I know. We can't just stay here. Lend me your strength. Holy shit! We power and friendshiping this, people! This- oh yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yes, Zeke, yes! What a beautiful day it is. Only I'd realized that earlier. Well, after all the killing I've done, that's asking for too much. Just like that. Just like that. Raise your glasses, everyone. To Zeke, the Wonder Boy. He did good. Look at Levi's face right there. Look at Levi's face in that second panel, page 34. The absolute shock relief, and confusion. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't get it. He doesn't fully, fully get why Zeke did that. But he did. He made that choice. He was born into this world. And when it came, comes right down to it, he wouldn't mind being born into this world again. The rumbling. It stopped. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Dixa, ex Exhuman, Ambrosios, Inek, and Ink Architect. Thank you for the follows. Cbob165. Thank you for the tier one sub. For six months in a row, seven total. <laughs> Bible thump, absolutely. Go, Jean! Okay. There they are. There's the explosives. Grabs it. You... You stupid little suicidal blockhead! And he's close to those explosives. He's not gonna be able to get away from this. And so, the head falls. Yeah! And out it comes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, and it looks like it's almost, it almost looks like it's going for Jean or something. There it is! It's doing it again. It's going after Aaron's head! Yes! Yes! Oh, it's the first time Levi called Zeke by his name? Holy shit. Reiner tackles that sucker to the ground. Reiner! Jean, peek. We need to get away quick. Armin's gonna blow those bones to pieces. Wait, but Reiner! 
The armored titan should be able to withstand the Colossus Titan's explosion. And most of all, Reiner's prepared for the consequences. To let this opportunity get away it would be to let that go to waste. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Wow, this shot! This shot! Bottom panel, page 43, chapter 137. Without all of your strength, we wouldn't have been able to stop the rumbling. The way they're all holding each other up, all the hands and everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good. This is so good. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Aaron. And... <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'm just gonna need to stop on this on this this final bit of page or of chapter 137 for a sec here. Mikasa, first panel, tears in her eyes. Right. Armin, second panel. Wide eyed, and with the lightning going down his face, just as if they were tears. Goodbye. Goodbye, Aaron. And then. Explosion. That, that panel, right there, that double pager, that double pager, holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Saiken, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub for the first month. Make sure to sync up your Twitch and Discord accounts so that, that way you can get on our normally patron-only Discord. Oh my god, people. This is... Yeah, and Falco Titan is just, just awesome. Just awesome. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? MAPPA has their work cut out for him. And things like this are why I am so glad, so glad that they took not, they're taking nine months off. Because holy shit, I can't imagine trying to animate this. I, can, I, can't, I cannot imagine. I'm not an animator. I don't know what it's like. But even compared to the anime that I've seen, like, I, I, this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, treat it almost like it's a whole other season, cause that, like, and then there's just the rumbling casually in the background. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Zeke, the way Zeke went out, that was so good. That was so good. Oh man. Oh boy. Wow. Well. Yes, this would be impossible without 3D Titans. Absolutely. They will definitely need to do 3D Titans. And the fact that the 3D Titans for part one of season of season four, right? The fact that the 3D Titans look that good, it'll it'll be just fine. It'll be just fine for the rumbling. It'll it'll look great. It'll look fantastic. Oh man. Oh yeah, even if they were to de delay part two of season four further like yeah do it whatever you need to do because how in the hell do you animate this how yeah yeah even nine months isn't enough time yeah yeah oh man oh boy oh boy yeah they're gonna need to make so many titan models for the background of everything holy shit Oh, that was Kruger who was besides, beside Grisha. Yes, thanks for pointing that out. That totally makes sense. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I have not already mastered. That sounds, that sounds awesome. <sighs> it takes less time to create a human life than, it, than to animate this stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they had people working on season four, part two since October. 
good for them. Good for them. Thoughts so far? Um, holy shit. Like, my... <laughs> Yeah, the talk with Armin being key for the Zeke conclusion. Yeah, it's so perfect because because Armin has been the heart and soul of this show, right? Aaron was was that at the beginning, but the thing is is that he lost his way as it went along, right? And that makes sense because while this world is beautiful, it is also very cruel, right? And you can't expect something like that to survive necessarily. That's why things like the power of friendship are so important, right? It might be, you know, a trope and a cliche, and, and some people might think it's overdone or whatever, and certainly there are times where it's used, and and maybe it it isn't given the proper respect it deserves, you know? But this is why the power of friendship is so so powerful as a concept, right? Because you need someone to be able to pick you up when you fall, right? No one can go it alone. It doesn't work. It doesn't work that way, right? God. Oh my God. This is, I am, I am beside myself. You want to know my thoughts? I'm beside myself. This is, this is such a dream come true because I've had bad experiences with, with stories that kept going, you know, whether it was Bleach or whether it was like book series that never finished or God, Heroes, you know, or like there are so many instances of where the the creative spark, the passion, the fire that is behind these artistic endeavors that are, quite frankly, miraculous that they even happen, right? It doesn't sustain itself, right? You know, that's why things like, like in the case with Oda, right, with his crazy energy where he, you know, is, is very, very much willing and and would love to die for his manga One Piece, right? That's the exception rather than the rule, right? That's, that's not something that just happens. And there are plenty of examples of where the longer a story goes on, the worse it gets. And it's not something against the, the staff or the creators or anything in those situations, because it's, because making anything artistic, you know, at all is is a is a is a labor of so much love and there's pain and blood and sweat and tears that goes into it, right? And and the idea that you actually make something that's really good, even for a second, that's wonderful, right? That's bliss, it's ecstasy, it's it's there is there is nothing better, speaking from experience, right? Even though I've never done anything like this. But the idea that you could have something that finishes strong, that's gone on a decade-long journey, that is insane. That doesn't happen often. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. And even less that it will finish strong on, and, and also have that convergence of, of being so good from the beginning. And Attack on Titan was compared to this a lot when it was coming out but and don't laugh but game of thrones right i have no idea how or if or when george rr R. martin will actually finish that book series no idea right that was insane like the, the the series itself is insane and it's huge and it's wonderful but i have no idea what he's gonna do how he's gonna do it or anything like that right and that's the, and that is nothing against him right he's already done something incredible by creating it in the first place and D and D, as much as we, you know, might be pissed at them for what they did with the final seasons, they brought us some amazing entertainment before then. But things happen, right? Things happen, and yeah, burnout is real, and we got those final seasons of Game of Thrones, which were, you know. And I know this is an anime talk, right? But. But yeah, you're right, Golden Witch. This is a decade-long sensation. Not just a story, but a sensation, right? Like, it, it stole the hearts and minds and emotions of countless people, countless people across the world, right? 
you know, Giga always talks about how like the 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 classic, the the anime classic is dead, right? You know, the like the genre defining, generation defining classic that doesn't really happen anymore. And in the times that I was able to talk to him, I was like, "Attack on Titan," you know, like keep keep your eyes on it, cause cause oh my god, it looks like it's actually gonna do it. It's actually gonna stick the landing. So many people talk about like the idea of a story getting better the longer it goes on, and so often it's not really that the story gets better, but maybe that their enjoyment gets better because their investment gets higher, right? Because the recency bias of the old parts dies out, and because they've been with the story as long as they have, then, well, of course, the new stuff must be the best stuff, right? But it might not actually be the case, and then later you look at it and you're like, oh, yeah, no, actually, it, it was kind of on a decline, even if I didn't really notice it, you know? But I truly don't believe that Attack on Titan is one of those. It really has gotten better at, like, every step of the way. And the fact that we get this, the fact that we get this, and, and, Mappa, good fucking luck. You blew me away with, with part one of season four, so, so I know that you are, you are up to the task, and if anyone were to be up to the task, it would be you, right? Keep doing what you're doing, you have been doing it. A fan fucking tastic job, right? But this is new territory. This is new heights. I have no idea how they're actually going to do this. But the story is here. It's all here, right? Like, even if somehow Mappa isn't able to adapt this well, which I have no doubt that they will, it's more of just the thing of it will be. I, I can't wait to see it actually happen with my own eyes, right? But we, we have this. We have this. And, and it means so, so much to me that the show that got me into anime, right? That really got me to be like, oh my god, manga is, and anime is, is magical, right? That it, that it's sticking the landing, that it stayed the course, that it continued to amaze and defy expectations even set by itself. And now here we are at the end of this era and I am so, so fucking glad, so happy that I got to be a part of it. So, we are halfway through. Two chapters left. Let's see how this goes. Chapter 138. Here it is. Chapter 138. A Long Dream. That, I can already tell that's a perfect chapter. Chapter title, like, oh man. Oh, and the Colossal Titans actually just, like, just fall? And, okay, so, so, this is a, um, all right, this is, this is something that I really appreciate. And it's a, it's a detail, right? Is it actually important? Maybe not, but, but I love this as a visual. Bottom panel. Right? So you, well, okay, you've got all the people and you've got the babe in the first panel and the second panel, right? And it's very fitting. The next generation, right? Is there hope for humanity for the cycle of hatred to end, right? Can we learn? And you even have the people who are starting to fall off and other people are like helping pull them back up and stuff. I love it. I love it, right? Because, because. Humanity has been pushed to the edge of a cliff, right? And we're kind of always at the edge of that cliff, right? We're, we're always one step away. We can always choose barbarism, right? 
and here these colossal titans the rumbling the 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 symbol of the end of everything takes a knee i love i love so much that it's not just that they fall over or that they that they stand still and just sort of like start to steam or whatever but they take a knee the one on the right in the front is even like on its knees and like yeah it's falling over right but it's almost like it's like it's bowing in supplication right that that it is that potentially by the by the efforts of the human heart even demons such as these can be overcome right and not slain necessarily but defeated and i god that's that image is so cool. I, yeah. Ace, uh, Discostu, 93, thank you for the tier one sub for five months. Hey, Jacob and chat, how are we doing today? Well, I'm doing great. We're uh, getting through to the end of Attack on Titan. And my God, it is amazing. So, yeah. And chat, you've been very good. Thank you also, everyone, that's been redeeming all those emote modes because I get the feeling that's been... Very much needed. <sighs> what happened? Those bones were blown away. <laughs> Sister, are you okay? Are you okay? <sighs> and there's Falco. Yep. Look, the bones are gone. The rumbling has stopped too. Is Aaron dead? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Mm-hmm. Apparently, once an Ackerman awakens, they often find themselves suffering from sudden headaches. An undoubting slave who only ever followed orders. Ever since. Ever since I was a kid. Was that the last time we'll ever? Mikasa, I've always hated you. Can't be. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and Gabby sees them. Gabby sees your family. Casa sees that. Yep. Oh God, and they're they're so happy. <laughs> oh, and Peaks Peaks dad. Peaks dad. Mm-hmm. On oh, Falco's parents. Yep. Yep. <laughs> It's not like I don't have regrets, but we, we did the right thing, didn't we? We stopped the rumbling. Why are you here? <laughs> all the way from the internment zone. Mr. Leonhardt led us all here. Your father. Go and meet him. And she goes off running, and he takes off running. Yes, yes. And Karina. Reiner's still fighting! Yes, I saw. That shining centipede. Reiner, where are they? Armin. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, pages eight and nine, here we go. Here we go. Oh. That's a, that's a, that's a good shot of Harmon. And Reiner, he's still there. Still kicking. Ooh. Reiner! He's okay. Hey, look. Over there. He got hit by that explosion and survived? What the hell is that thing? Who knows? All I know for sure is that we can't let it live. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Rumbling's coming for you now. Uh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> yes, we're on, we're on 138, chapter 138, by the way, for anyone who's wondering, yep. That, uh, that, that, that panel, 
that, well, all of these panels really, but specifically, specifically the uh, the first one uh, on page ten, you know, with uh, Armin's Colossus Titan, you know, and then and then just behind it, massive flash and explosion of Aaron transforming again. Mm hmm. Well, figures. I didn't think that'd be enough to kill you. Yeah, but what do we do now? What do you do now, Mikasa? Aaron. Yep. And that panel. That both of those panels for page 11 of 100 chapter 138. Look at that. Look at that. That's Aaron. That's this Aaron anyway. So this is where we need to see if there was something more, hopefully maybe possibly to what Aaron's been doing this whole time. Because... Oh, man. Oh, man. There's a part of me that wants it to be something where... It, it, was, a, it was a ruse. It was a manipulation. It was something, right? That Aaron... That this isn't truly who Aaron is, right? It was manipulated by Ymir or, or something like that. Or that he... That they remind him of who he really is, right? But... Here we are. Page 12, let's go. Oh no. You can't let that shining thing come in contact with Aaron. There's no telling what, it, what could happen. He could even start the rumbling again. Yeah, yeah, because those titans are not gone. That thing? We've got to kill that shining thing! How are we going to kill something that survived the explosion just now? We need to go for Aaron. You all understand by now, right? This nightmare won't end until we take him down. Father, I still have one final job. I'm completing my mission. And Colts, too. Why? How? <clears throat> Did it turn out this way? <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. Did your leg get hurt? No, it's an old injury. Thank you. If you hadn't fired all those rounds into the air, I imagine we'd still be at each other's throats. Awesome! Awesome! Yes! Way to go. So they managed to beat it. Okay. One victory against the cycle of hatred. Can you stand? Bring the injured here! The Titans are still closing in. I need help deploying cannons! I've made my fair share of mistakes. Let's work together to overcome this. Yes. Dad? Annie. Oh, oh, oh no! Ah! 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 Uh. Page 15 on to page 16. I don't, um, so, so, um, one of the things, one of the things that I think is, uh, is, is, like, crucial to the human experience, right, is the idea that, that, um, all things are not valued equally, or all things are not valued the same. In this situation, even though the, the world is at stake, Right? Quite, quite literally, right? The rumbling could begin again at any time. All that matters to Annie right now is that she see her dad one last time. She might not even participate in the fight later. I think she will. After she actually meets with her dad and talks with him, whatever, right? Remembers that there is something worth fighting to save. But... Let me put it this way. Zeke ended up eating Xaver. So he couldn't get any more... Any more games of catch. Right? Not in this life. Not with Xaver anyway. But Annie's dad is still alive. So those, you know, and again, back to that song. Those little wonders. Those small moments. And time falls away. And nothing else matters. 
these moments like this. Annie has this. Even if it's, if it's just for a few more moments. Even if, even if it's just for a little bit. Even if they all get stomped out into, into paste, you know, three minutes from now, right? Right now, she gets to see her dad again. She hasn't seen him in a very long time. I know a lot of people like Attack on Titan because of the action. It's good action. It's good action. I totally get that, right? And it's very helpful that it has it. But my favorite parts about Attack on Titan have never been the action. Been the moments with the characters amidst the action. Those calm moments amidst the chaos and the destruction, right? And here we have one. Well, let's see what's on page 16. Oh, okay. Woman's Colossus looking behind it. Something steaming. What is that smoke? Smoke's coming from the shining thing. Did it die? No. That's not the smell of a dead titan. Isn't this the same thing they did in Rakuko? Um, wait. Wait, 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 uh, uh, no, no, you're, you're kidding me. No, 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 no way, no way. Jean and Connie and everybody, all their families, Gabby and... Mr. Leonhart, everyone? No. I suppose it makes sense. If the, the spinal thing or whatever got hit with an explosion, right? That totally could have spread spinal fluid everywhere. And it totally would have evaporated it. The heat from an explosion like that. Wait. Wait. So this is how it ends for us. Yes, so. I won't trust them with the rest. That's what it means to die as a member of the Survey Corps. Do you remember, Jean? The night at the entrance ceremony? Yeah. You know this is all your fault, right? That we ended up stuck with the job of saving humanity? Oh my god. Oh, and Annie's there with her dad. Oh, no, Annie's gonna see this up close? She's gonna see this up close? Holy shit. Holy shit. Page 20. That is a... That is a panel. Right there. That is a shot. So, um... Just to, just to clarify... 
Can someone explain to me real quick, unless it's explained in shortly thereafter, how exactly this happened? Because was I was I right in how that worked? That basically because the because the um the, the the entity right basically took the explosion from the Colossus Titan, spinal fluid was spread around, and then that evaporated, and then there you go. Like, how did this actually end up happening? Is that is that how it was, or was it was it something different? No. Can this really be happening? And all the Titans are just falling. Holy shit. Oh. Oh my god. And Onyon Capon's there with Annie. Yeah, because he's not he's not an Eldian. Hey, are you okay? What in the world happened? <laughs> Dad? Sir! Oh my god. Attack on Titan. We can discuss it after 139. Sounds good, Bray. Sounds good. Yeah. Ugh. Oh my god. Wait, is it calling all of them to it? It went and summoned its troops. Are you out of their m are you out of your mind? There's no way you're getting past me. Oh my god. Uh, wait, what? 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 So Reiner's like, hell yeah, I'll take you all on. Like, I don't care how many of you, are, you there are. <laughs> thousands? I don't care. Just, just me, all by myself. You know, thousands of you and the originator of all Titan existence. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take you on all in my onesie. And what takes him out here? Who knows? Who cares? It doesn't really matter. Of course he can't actually stand up against them. He tries, but... You really... really love hell, don't you, Aaron? Fine, then. I'm sticking it out with you until the very end. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! Ah! Ha, ha! Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Attack on Titan. Here we go. Page 26. A colossal fight between Aaron and Armin. Of course. Mappa. Good fucking luck. Good fucking luck. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. I, 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 just... Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then back to Reiner. <laughs> Connie. John. Gabby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can't be. Why? Mom? Okay. Okay. Oh, and here comes Peek! Yeah! Go, Peek! Peek. Annie. <laughs> what must we do to receive our reward? Oh, man. Ah! Mikasa, stay with me here. We're the only ones left who can kill Eren. I can't take any more of this. I, I want to go back. Go back to our home. Mikasa, wake up. We'll catch a cold. Eren? Huh? I... When did I fall asleep? You must have been exhausted. Uh, I feel like I just had a long dream. Let's just take it easy for the rest of today. We managed to catch a big fish after all. Oh, this is her imagining them living on a happy little, happy little farm or something, just like her parents used to. Mikasa? Why are you crying? Huh? 
wonder why. I started asking myself if it's really okay for me to be here. You know, there's nothing we can do about it now. Huh? The two of us abandoned everything. We escaped out here ever since then. It's been two months since the Marleyan War ended. War to invade parody will begin soon. Running away is the only way for anyone to survive. I bet Armin is looking all over for us right now. I... We couldn't send Astoria to hell and continue that endless slaughter. I couldn't commit mass murder against humanity outside the walls. In that case... I should just live for the... I should just live the four years I have left in peace and quiet. When nobody else is around. Just the two of us. Mikasa. Wasn't it you who suggested it first? Yes. I'm sorry. I know I promised I wouldn't bring this up. Will you make me one more promise? Throw this scarf out once I'm dead. You have a long life ahead of you. So forget about me. Be free. Please, Mikasa. And the scars and the titan marks start to appear. Forget about me. Wow. And we see the bird. We see the bird, the one bird by itself flying away. That imagery all the way back to the very beginning of the show. I can't remember if this was in the, the manga or not. You know, the two birds flying up over the wall at the beginning. And it makes sense because this is what Aaron would have wanted, right? He values freedom above everything, right? So really, yeah, if he was going to do something like this, or regardless, regardless, once he found out about the whole thing of... He is on borrowed time because he is a titan now. He only has a few years left. He would want Mikasa to forget about him, right? Or not forget about him, but to be free of him. To move on from him, right? That's the thing that Mikasa's had to do this whole time, but she... But she's weak, right? That's that's kind of the whole, the whole point of her character, right? She's strong on the battlefield, but out off of it, no. Oh man, oh man, oh man. And page 38, delivering a hell of a right hook to Armin. I'm sorry. Yes! Oh, oh wait, no. No, she takes the scarf off. Okay, okay, I love this, I love this. Yes, 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 because she hasn't been wearing the scarf. But in honor of the Aaron that she knew, of in honor of the Aaron that saved her, right? Even though that Aaron is now gone and dead, right? And I will say that what I believe is coming next is what I was spoiled on. This is the one thing I was spoiled on. Of course she does it while wearing the scarf. Because it's for you, Aaron. For the Aaron that I knew, right? I know that you're dead and gone. But I won't ever forget the real you. I can't. Aaron, it's inside the mouth. I'll do it. Everyone back me up. Understood, Mikasa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. God, he's almost punching right through the Colossal Titan's face. Okay. Okay, everyone's going. Aaron's <laughs> Aaron's giant. Aaron's enormous. Aaron's colossal sized. And they're trying to fight him. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, those thunder spears do jack shit. Wait. Oh. Oh. The thunder spear blows away some of the teeth. She goes inside the mouth. And there he is. There he is. Holy fuck. Here it is. And there, his head there. His head there looks... 
well, regular sized, human sized. This is just straight up Aaron's head. Yep. Page 44, chapter 138. And Costa swings, and Aaron looks at her, and there is no pain, no malice, no anger. If anything, I'm checking. His, the corners of his mouth aren't upturned in a smile, but there's understanding in those eyes. See you later, Aaron. Oh my god. And she kisses his decapitated head goodbye. That's a double pager right there. Also, also, here's a here's a here's a curious uh, question. Mappa, how are you going to animate this? Forget Beyblade Aaron with his head going flying and everything cuz censorship and all of that. How are you going to animate, like, like, just censorship and all that stuff, how are you going to handle one of the main characters kissing the decapitated head of the, who was until recently the protagonist? That would be appreciated, Jenny Monty. Yeah. But okay, Mikasa, you did it. You did it. Yeah, just don't show him from the neck down. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably how they'll do it. Oh my god. That's chapter 138, y'all. Oh my god. But yeah, so this is this is the thing that I got spoiled on. I got spoiled on the fact that um that Mikasa kills Eren. Which I mean, it, it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Oh boy. And now how the hell is the next chapter going to go? I mean, they killed Aaron, so in a lot of ways the story's over, but it's not. But it's not, and this is why I'm curious, because, so. Okay, so yeah, the tentacle thing sprayed the spinal fluid gas everywhere, and then Falco screamed. Gotcha. So Falco's scream was actually the thing that transformed them. So he just, he didn't mean to do it, but. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Well. Now, one of the things that I love about this, Aaron's dead, right? But we have established, we have established that the place of paths, the world of paths, is a place outside of death, where there is no death, there is no life. There is no time, even, really. So we can still see Aaron again, theoretically. We can see Zeke again. I'm very curious to see if that ends up happening and how it goes. Now, Mikasa has basically said her goodbye at this point, right? But if we were to get any kind of additional, um, additional insider perspective into Eren, that would be where it would happen. Because, because the the thing that's um that's tough about about this story and how it, how it progressed, right? Is that the main character has become the villain, the antagonist, right? And there's Ymir, this ethereal entity, basically, that is the, um, kind of the true antagonistic force, right? Aaron being the antagonistic character and then she is the, the harbinger of destruction, right? Hmm. Or Aaron's the harbinger, she is the actual destruction. How do, um... <sighs> yeah. 
this ending is basically Aaron losing the battle of humanity, right? Aaron is an individual, right? Humanity as a whole might still win. And maybe this is what Aaron had to do in order for that to happen, but we still don't have a full resolution on what happened other than, I guess, just that Aaron lost, right? He became jaded, all that stuff, right? He ended up taking a dark turn. So I am really, really curious how they are going to fully, fully tie a bow on this existing arc. Because since Aaron is the main character, even though he became the antagonist at the end, it is kind of his story, right? It's the story of everyone, it's the story of humanity, but Aaron was made the main character for a reason, right? So what is his journey? What is the lesson, basically, that we, the audience, can get from Aaron as a result of the arc that he went on, right? Since he seems to have failed, right? He became jaded, he became the villain, all that stuff. It could be a cautionary tale, a warning, right? But, hopefully, ideally, there would be some part of Aaron that did figure something out, right? And I would like to know what that is, if, if there is something along those lines. Uh, Jenny Monty, also there's a Twitch clip for a stream from a stream a while ago where y'all said this decapitating shit happened and it was right after this chapter came out, so paths, oh boy, oh boy. Mm. Ugh. All right, well. Oh, oh my God. Chapter 139, the final chapter of Attack on Titan. Final chapter, toward the tree on that hill, and it opens up with Armin and Aaron as little kids on that pier by the sea, or, well, by the, by the water, right? Talking about the sea. Wait, hold on. Let me let me check this out. Let me check out this clip. Oh, uh, just for clarification, the gas transformed them, but Falco's tr scream didn't trigger anything since he isn't royal blood. Okay, right. That makes sense. That makes sense. He's not royal blood, even though he's the Beast Titan. And if the, not Ymir, but the, the entity, the Titan entity, the spinal thing is what released the gas, then it could just also trigger it. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Wow. What would it take for Mikasa to cut his head off? Yeah, yeah. Hmm, hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. But yeah, okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. Cause yeah, because if if it was actually Falco that triggered it, that, that would that would be that would be that would seem very, very odd. Hydrate reminder, thank you, thank you. Oh. Hey, I get it. You did it for the sake of future of the future you saw using the Attack Titan's power. Oh, Kid Armin. Okay, in kid form, talking to Kid Aaron about what happened. Okay, okay, I like it, I like it. But did you really have to beat me to a pulp? Why? Was kneeing me that important? I was so desperate to push you all away. Even I found myself wondering what I was doing. Just let the moment take over, really. Sorry. You should be saying that to me, Kasa, not me. All that nonsense you spewed hurt her. Yeah, you're right. Okay. It was all to push us away from you and make us into heroes who saved humanity from extinction by hunting you down. That's right. How could you not be seen as the saviors of every surviving member of society? You turned your backs on parody in spite of being island devils to stand on the side of humanity to the end. You'd probably become the most respected beings in this world. 
So you want us to be like the Tiber family after the Great Titan War? We're supposed to protect parody from reprisal from humanity outside the walls? I won't be able to retaliate immediately. Huh? Rumbling will kill 80% of humanity. I won't be able to wage war. <sighs> yep. This is the this is the problem. This is the thing you need to face is that Aaron decided to do the rumbling, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you really need to go this far? Was this all for our sake? Where are you where we wanted to go? Let's talk as we walk. About our founder, Ymir. Oh. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So using paths and all that stuff, they still get to see all the things that Armin and him talked about. So this is flaming water. It really is flowing like a river. How far did I get? Hmm? You said that the power of the Titans continues to exist because Ymir has been obeying King Fritz for 2,000 years. Wait. Oh. Right. He'd burned her hometown, killed her parents, and pulled out her tongue. But even when she attained godlike powers, she continued to obey him. What could have caused her to do that? When we touched at the path, I felt something. I couldn't believe it, but... Ymir the Founder loved Carl Fritz. What? That's what bound her for over 2,000 years. I can't claim to understand the depths of Ymir's heart, but I knew she was in agony as she yearned for freedom. For 2,000 years, she sought someone who'd release her from the agony of love. Then someone appeared. It was Mikasa. Wait. Wait, what? Huh? Did you just say Mikasa? I did. So you weren't listening after all. I was listening. W why Mikasa? Well, only Ymir knows that one. As for me... <laughs> flashing back to my favorite moment of Attack on Titan for the longest time. End of Season 2. And she's talking to him there. Thank you for wrapping this scarf around me. As for me, even I still don't know what Mikasa will do. The only thing I knew for sure was the result of Mikasa's choice. All of it was to arrive at that result. That's why I moved forward. I murdered four-fifths of society. I led you to kill each other on parody. Got all of you precious friends wrapped up in this battle without even knowing if you'd survive it. That's... the future you saw at the medal ceremony? You've been all alone since then? It must have hurt. Armin. My head's gotten all messed up. The Founder's powers made it so that there's no past or future. It, it all exists at once, so I... I had to do it. That day, that time, it wasn't Bertholdt's time to die yet. The one who let him go, and made her go that way was... Yup. Mm-hmm. Let's go, Aaron. Yeah. So... What were you thinking? About who? About Mikasa. Do you think she can forget about you and live a happy life with someone else, just like you wanted? Well, who knows? Ow! Uh, what? Who knows? I don't remember ever forgiving you! Oh, okay, so yeah, he punches him. Alright, alright. What are you thinking? Disregarding Mikasa's love for you like that? woman who's always val valued you over everything, even her own life. 
Do you really think you can tell her to forget about you and be done with it? She should be able to forget about the heartbreaker she loved and be happy at the very least. But who knows? Maybe she'll find someone good in no time and shrug it all off. No. Hmm? No, I don't want that. Oh. Oh. This is... This is a direction I did not expect. This is a direction I definitely did not expect. I'm an... I, I was... I was an a shipper, you know? Like... Like... I did not expect this direction. No, I don't want that. Because of finding another man. I want her to think about me and no one else for the rest of my life. Even after I die, I want to be at the front of her mind for a while. Just ten years, at least. Oh. Okay. I... <laughs> Way to go, Armin. Way to go. I didn't expect something that pathetic. Please, don't repeat that to Mikasa. I want her to be happy, I really do, but... <sighs> God damn it. I don't want to die. I want to be with Mikasa, with everyone. Aaron, don't give up. We can find another way. Oh. I'm sure none of them wanted to die either, but... Oh. How could I ever be forgiven? That's a double pager. That's a double pager right there. Even I didn't know that you'd stop me in the end. I think I still would have flattened this world. I'd level almost every forest, and I would have left the land covered in carrion fattened insects a few days later. I wanted to leave every surface a blank plain. Why? Aaron, that is your name. I, I don't know why, I, but I wanted to do that. I had to. Aaron, you are free. And then the conch shell. Armin, it's time. I'm erasing all your memories of this place. Next time we meet, We'll be trying to kill one another, but we'll probably remember once again once it's all over. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm very curious at what point this this happened. Aaron. Thank you. You became a mass murderer for our sake? I promise I won't let this error go to waste. I don't know what happens after I die, but I know you can make it to the other side of the walls. Humanity will be saved by you, Armin. Healed up already? Huh? Annie? Okay. Okay. That's... I'm not... I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Chapter's not over, so I'm gonna keep going. Not entirely sure how I feel about that. Falco coming in, flaming. Now I remember, this is Armin. Holding his head. I'm not even going to try to voice act that scream. I know I can't do it. First panel of page 25. Armin, you remember now too, don't you? When Aaron came to visit us, yeah, I heard the results of your choice would make the power of the Titans vanish from the face of this world. Yep, yep, there you go. 
you can if you can manipulate the biology of Eldians, then theoretically you could do this. Okay. Now I remember. You conscientious piece of shit. Aaron, you really are a... Aaron. He said even my mom would go back to being human. He said for us to live long. What about you? Never asked you for this, you suicidal blockhead. Huh? Wish I could have talked to him. Welcome back. I'm home, Dad. Gabby! <laughs> hey, guys. See that? Oh. Guess this is the result of all your devoted hearts. Yeah. And then Levi dies there, doesn't he? Wait, and even Sasha and they see this? And they see this? I mean, I guess through paths, yeah. Sasha? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> and Falco just tackles Gabby. Full on clomp hug attack. Oh my. I guess I'm not the Armored Titan anymore. Is that true? That, that's great. Huh? I'm sorry for everything, Reiner. This... This is all I ever needed. I... I should go. Huh? Where? If I stayed here... I doubt they'd give Aaron a proper burial. You're right. Let him rest somewhere quiet. And Mikasa takes off the 3D maneuver gear. Yes, that is a, I love that. I love that. That is, mm, mm, I love that imagery. I love that imagery. Yes, 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 yes. Putting away the warrior side of her, right? Because this is where, in the same way that everyone else had their Titan powers taken away from him, this is now Mikasa getting a chance at her regular life. Also, I love that because since the powers of the Titans are taken away, then that means that probably the curse of the Titans is gone too, which means then that the thing that I always wanted for Reiner could actually happen if he lives out his life, right? Aaron always liked to nap there. Yeah, I think it's a good place. And Mikasa just walks away. Oh, that's such a sad ending for Mikasa though. Holy shit. And the soldiers come, okay? Please, Secretary Mueller. Aaron Yeager is dead. The power of the Titans has vanished. We, we are nothing more than people now. Can you prove that to me? Right here and now? If it's a blood test you want, here. Now. Please, prove it. Are you people? Or are you Titans? If we did still have the power of the Titans, wouldn't we be using it to resist you? But the fact that we continue to be powerless, even as you point your guns at us, is the greatest possible proof of our humanity. Just like season one, right? With the guy with the cannons and everything. Who are you? I am Armin Artlert, an Eldian from the island of Parody, the man who killed Aaron Yeager, the attack Titan. Wow. Okay, and he takes the credit for it, yeah, so that that way, well, Mikasa can just live a quiet life, I guess. Three years have passed since the day known... Wait, no, I'm going to do this in Armin's voice, since he was the narrator for season one. Three years have passed since the day known as the Battle of Heaven and Earth. Those who have survived after an unfathomable, after an unfathomable number of lives were taken still seem to be tormented by their unhealing scars. As the world suffers through this loss, their fears have come true. The nation of Eldia has formed a so-called army controlled by the Jaegerists, 
and now focus their efforts on building their military. Fearful of retaliation from what is left of humanity on the other side of the sea, the island yells out as one. If we live, if we win, we live. If we lose, we die. If you don't fight, we can't win. Fight, fight. This fight will not end until either Eldia or the world disappears. That is what Aaron said, and he may be right. Even so, he chose to leave this world in our hands, this place we now live in. A world without titans. Wait. Is that Reiner? First panel. Is that Reiner? It's like shaved and everything? I never get tired of hearing. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I never get tired of Historia's beautiful handwriting. It even smells nice. How many times do I have to tell you not to lust after a married woman? Creep. You seem awfully concerned about how your hair looks yourself, Jean. Trying to look good for someone? For all the girls who ever open a history textbook. Don't you mean a field guide to horses? It's a damn shame you got a new lease on life, Reiner. It's a damn shame you got a new lease on life, Reiner. Yep, yep, confirming that for us. Parody is within sight now. Harmon, you really think this is going to work? We destroyed the walls. We betrayed the island. We killed Aaron, a man revered by the people of Eldia. And were the Allied Nations ambassadors for peace talks? Personally, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be shocked if they sunk our ship right here. Believe in Astoria. Her Majesty's first move was to protect John's relatives and my mom. I know she'll defend us too. Us weak little things. Annie. Conflict will never vanish. But when they see us all together like this, they'll have to want to know. About our story. Wow, and Levi's still alive! And in a wheelchair, yeah, okay. There's Gabby. Why those who tried to kill one another for so long have appeared on parody to advocate for peace. They'll want to know what we saw. Ah, nice, and then the feather falls from the one lone bird as it flies away. Let's tell them everything. Aaron. Everyone will be coming to visit you soon. Aren't you happy? I want to meet you again. Wait. Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on just a second. Okay, so the scarf is starting to fall off and then a bird comes down. Wraps it around her. I'll wrap that scarf around you as many times as I have to. Thank you for wrapping this scarf around me, Aaron. Wow. To the readers of Attack on Titan, this world that did not exist until 2009 was made into words and pictures given meaning, turned into a story, printed in the first issue of Bisatsu Shonen Magazine, and serialized for 11 years and 7 months by Hajime Isayama's hands. By no means were they 11 years and 7 months of continued good news. The series was visited by troubles, sadness, and goodbyes. Even so, we believe that nothing is more valuable than people being able to share in emotions that cannot be put into words through a story. It makes us happy that we were able to feel that way with readers and partners by way of Attack on Titan, though this series has come to an end. These memories are sure to always warm our hearts. Thank you for reading. Our battle is only getting started. The editorial department of Bisatsu Shonen Magazine. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Wow. Okay, Bray. All right, yeah, flight, flight. 
Note to self. Do not tell 300 people at once that they can message me. Great chapter, man. Great series. Well done. Tataka! Tataka! <laughs> All right. And now... Okay. Tataka! Oh, my God. Mikasa's dream in 137 was Aaron showing Mikasa um, a, a vision of the different answer from chapter 123. He gives a moment of happiness but tells her to forget about him even if he doesn't want that. Then she decides to kill him. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense, Shadowfall. Yeah. Now you understand why Aaron's theme is named Bird in a Cage in German. So, okay, yeah, all right, so, um, no spoils, but check chapter one, pages 13 and 14. All right. The talk with Armin happened in 131 when Armin saw young Aaron in paths. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. What is this? Parasitic Jaeger. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, so, so, okay, all right, you're right, yeah, you mirrored Stockholm Syndrome, yep, yep. Yeah, so. has been a hell of a ride yeah i am um uh did you realize aaron was the one who caused Bertolt and reiner to destroy the walls and kill his mother um well i don't know about destroying the walls necessarily i don't know about that but yes the idea that he influenced the smiling titan to ignore Bertolt and then go and kill his mom So no, so but I I understand I understand why people are frustrated by this ending. I understand why people are frustrated by this ending. It's Sia Genamonti, thank you so much for all the help this stream. That was that was that was huge. Um Yeah, th there were there were aspects of like the comedy at the end that felt a bit a bit forced, like Reiner sniffing Historia's letter and things like that. It's like, okay, these characters have grown a lot. It doesn't make sense for Reiner to be that same kind of... Like, I get what Isayama was going for in that Reiner basically was able to go back to being the soldier rather than the warrior, right? Um, Right, because the, the, because the, yeah, yeah, I know, Vray, yeah, Reiner's last moment being a letter sniffer, it's like, that's, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. There, there are things that I would have liked to have been different about the final chapter, for sure, right? Oh, you missed Levi's first and only tear when he saw Erwin and the others' last vision of Sasageo? Ooh, okay. That's that's cool. Here forever, rest peacefully, my most beloved, my dear, 854, the words Mikasa etched on the grave. Cool, thanks for passing that along.
Ooh. I honestly believe that a large part of the people being disappointed in this ending is the fact that the parallels that ended up being drawn were not the ones they expected. People thought Aaron was a Chad, but then he turned out to be a direct parallel to Keith Shadis. Okay. Yeah, so the, the big problem that I have, the big problem that I have is, um, really kind of boils down to Armin's response to Aaron. Because Mikasa's, so, so okay. Um, Mikasa's response to Aaron is very much response to the Aaron that she remembered, right? She killed him, right? So she dealt with the Aaron that existed, and then, and then it's the, I will still bury him, I will not forget the person that I knew, right? And the big problem, the big problem with this is that, mm. and I'm, I'm curious to, I'm curious to see how this gets animated, right? Because I feel like they, they could, the, This final chapter and the the things that Armin like the realizations or the the moments that are had with like Aaron and Armin and Mikasa and things like that and whatnot. I feel like it's something where it's not that it's there. Mm. Yeah, it felt it felt just just a little rushed. Like like maybe yes, chapter one hundred thirty eight way better than one hundred thirty nine in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for becoming a mass murderer for our sake. It's like, it's like that, that doesn't, that doesn't really, really work, right? That, yeah, that, that, that really, that really doesn't work. Armin directly called the genocide an error. Yeah, it's, um, right. I feel like it's something where it's not that the conversation, uh, yeah, it's, it's worded poorly. It's worded poorly, right? Adding a few extra sentences and things like that. Like it, it's something where you can't exactly with, with the way it's done, having a few extra pages, basically, since it's in manga form in order to draw the conversation out and shift the tone of the things that, that Armin sang, because because the idea of him understanding why Aaron did everything that he did, I'm totally fine with that, right? Because because the the it's worded poorly, but what's attempted to be communicated, it feels like, is that Armin's like, you messed up, but I understand why you did it, right? But you messed up, right? And that's that's the It, it ruins the entire anti-fascist theme of the story. Yeah, like... Yeah. Uh, the reason Aaron does not understand why he did the rumbling is because Ymir enslaved him at birth in order to become free. Only a person insane with freedom could have freed her. Huh. Yeah, a Ymir and Aaron conversation. I feel like that would have been a good one because even though she had her tongue ripped out and all that stuff, theoretically through paths, they could have communicated just fine, right? Because that's not based on the actual body. It's it's a telepathic whatever experience, right? It's it's something something else entirely. Well, so yeah, they're still at war, which is like okay. They're doing the peace talks, and it's and it's implying that it'll work, even though we don't actually see it happen. I don't think the final chapter ruins the anti-fascism at all, because just because Aaron's plan totally fails, uh, the ending clearly depicts the cycle of hatred as as totally unbroken. Hmm. Sure. No, no, no. So, Slain, the idea of Mikasa making a grave for Aaron. No, I get no because because it's the, um. It's not really gone into because this is the end of the story. Oh, yeah, same Zenimax. I don't buy Aramika at all. Yep, yep, me neither. Me neither. The 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 whole idea of her um Right, yeah. Yeah, the anime can add some extra scenes, tweak some lines and things like that and and smooth it over and make it make it work just fine. But like the um
we don't know the the heart behind everything that happens at the end with regards to how um how mikasa buries aaron's head and everything like that right because there's the aaron that she knew and then there's the and then there's the aaron that turned into the monster basically right and and if anything the um the the big well okay i i i can't exactly resolve it to one thing but one of the the kind of issues that stands out to me here is what is the with the way that this happened it feels kind of like it might take away from the agency of Aaron as a character because You know, we have the moment where he, he kisses Historia's hand, he gets the download from Paths and all that stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like because it's weird Attack on Titan really really explored some intense topics right it feels so weird to attack to talk about Attack on Titan in the past tense right but it explored some intense topics right and it handled them really, really well. This last chapter feels a little bit rushed. Feels a little bit rushed. Because the, the topics are so, so big, so extreme. How do you really, how do you really handle that, right? And... Mm, sure, Mio Milo. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with this final chapter, you know, but everything up to that was absolutely stellar. And... Yeah, yeah, it... Yeah. It did, it does feel kind of like a Code Geass style ending, and it does... Yeah, I... Uh... So Attack on Titan is best. I, I get what you mean about Isayama's Just a Mangaka, right? And yes, how do you resolve something like this? But but we got to remember, the whole exploration of everything up till, up till now was stellar, right? And I would say the reason, the reason why, if any of you are saying that it's an unearned Code Geass ending, I get that. I get that, right? Um, the... The reason why I would say it's unearned, though, is one, yeah, it doesn't, it didn't really actually work, right? It may, remains war for everyone else, right? Humanity continues in the way that it does. But I think it's also because Code Geass was a much simpler show. And as a result, a simple solution like that kind of works. And in Attack on Titan, it doesn't, it doesn't really. Like, and not that, not that, um, the idea that Aaron decided to do this, right? The idea that Aaron decided to do this, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine with that, right? The thing is, is that it's, it's how the other characters handle it, right? And that's where I'm very curious to see how the anime adapts it. Because... Um,
Because I feel like the the best solution for this is that the characters cannot condone or agree with what Aaron did, right? But they understand how he got to the point that he was at and, and you know, remember their friend that yearned for freedom. Right, exactly. And it didn't magically solve everything, right? There's still, like, there's still issues and things like that. And if anything, that's something where, because in a lot of ways with the way this ended, it didn't give too much agency to Eren as a character. It kind of, but it did kind of offload the agency to the other characters, right? Because they still have to do the peace talks and things like that. But. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that, Zeeb. Yeah, and it is it is a bit frustrating that that it isn't resolved or that we don't get to see it be resolved. Cuz I would I would love to see the the peace talks act. Well, okay. <sighs> I, would, I wouldn't, like, you can't actually show the peace talks. That would get way too complicated and things like that. But I would love to, I, I would love to have seen the resolution of the peace talks. That they meet, they talk, they figure it out, and it ends, right? Yes, and the, and the Titans were finally erased. Yep. Oh, that's a nice thought, Kakarot. Yeah, that Mikasa killing Aaron got through to Ymir. Broke her free from Fritz. Oh, the problem is not Aaron. The problem is the story is set in a deterministic world. Nobody is free because everything is determined from the start. Okay. Okay, sure. Sure, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Death in Rome. That's 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 a great point because because the the only time the only time that we really actually saw Aaron truly care for Mikasa was that scene at the end of season two, right? And that's and that's kind of why I loved it, right? But it's also the thing if he turns away from her and all that stuff and you know and whatnot, right? So, I. Uh, sure, disrupted. I I do get the idea that yeah, and and actually, I yeah yeah I might I might like the idea that we don't actually see peace being attained because it shows that because it's you know again it's giving the agency back to the characters. It's that it's a continual struggle, right? And because because the world has now been basically on attack on tightened, you know, it's now in a regular world and all that stuff. It can be dealt with in the regular ways that it's dealt with, right? Hopefully. And that's what I think, that's what I think is basic, has been achieved by this, is that, how do I feel about Ymir loving King Fritz? I actually don't mind that. Here's, here's the reason why I don't mind that. Yes, it's fucked up, right? But I believe it. I believe it. If anything, that's something where it's, um, the fact that, that she loved him isn't the problem for me. It's just something where I would have wanted to see more resolution of that angle of things. Don't forget the plot hole of Aaron being able to mess with and erase Mikasa's memories. Yeah, that is something where it's like, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Aaron killing his own mother. Uh, that's something where I... I am actually okay with that because we're in time loop shenanigans. So it could have it could have happened in different ways all, you know, all throughout the story or whatever, and it just got to some point where then Aaron was in this situation and then he had to rewrite things in order to hopefully he never erased Mikasa's memory though. Wait. Wait, hold on. 
How would he have not erased Mikasa's memory? The worm just disintegrating out of nowhere was BS. Hmm. Okay, fake colored. Yeah, I get that. Mm hmm. Yeah, Aaron talked to Mikasa right before she killed him. He didn't erase her memories. And it's also kind of like a way of saying, it's okay. You know, kill me. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm curious to see how this gets adapted, because there are some things that need to be smoothed out, but the structure is there, because even Armin's, um, Armin's response, the problem isn't fundamentally his response. But that that's the thing we see, which I feel like it's kind of there to show the thing, the response that we wouldn't expect. And then because of time or whatever, I'm eating beef jerky. And then because of time or whatever, we don't see all the stuff that we do need to see because it's kind of assuming that that would be a part of it, you know? So, I feel like in the anime, they could just add add to the conversation to make it work a lot better. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot got off screens, yeah. Basically. Basically. Right. Yeah, she put herself... Ymir put herself in front of the spear that was going after King Fritz, yeah. She loved him, it was messed up, but, you know. And she's not a big character in the story, so it's kind of okay if that doesn't get resolved, you know? But... Yeah, I think Armin's response of thanking Aaron, it just needs to be made more specific. What exactly is he thanking him for, right? Because... Uh, no. Mm. Loving Fritz is an easy parallel for Mikasa killing Eren. Ymir thinks loving means serving, and Mikasa thinks so too, even if she doesn't say it. When Mikasa kills Eren, she shows Ymir that you can disobey your lover, and that's why she stops the Titan domination. Okay. And that would need to be focused on and gotten into a bit more so that it's fully explained to the audience, you know? Because you don't want to have to... I don't want the audience to have to infer a bunch of stuff like that, but I like it. Because that would also explain why Aaron talks about Mikasa as being so important. It's not important to him, but like important to the story as a whole, you know? Because the idea that she had the capability to kill him, it's like, okay, if he really wanted to die, he could have let someone else kill him, you know?
Hmm. Hey, Spiegel, thanks for the 100 bits. We never learned Zeke's ass-wiping technique. Two out of ten ending. Just kidding, but to be honest, I don't understand how killing Aaron got rid of the centipede thing. That and all of the things that never got explained, Ackerman's being the biggest one. I still think it's an amazing series, but I give my gri I have my gripes. Well, yeah, things things like the Ackermans, I don't mind that the Ackermans were never explained. It's, you know, we can we can assume, you know, Eldian biology can be altered, so at some point they were probably altered by the founder. They're not able to be altered by the founder and stuff like that. Kill Jawa, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub for two months in a row. Please read this post for some of my problems with the ending. Would like your thoughts. Oh. Um. If the mod wants to repost that or something, I don't think links can actually be posted in here, but. Um. Yeah, I can't actually, I can't actually check out that link. So if a mod wants to, uh, Bray, if you want to, if you want to repost that or something, I'll check it out. Well, I am curious to see how Caleb reacts to the ending. Hmm. Post about a leak of what happens at the end of the story of Aaron conversation in 130. Yeah. Audiences don't need to have everything explained. Not everything needs to be resolved. Not everything is important enough to need a resolution like that. The mystery box is a powerful thing. Some mysteries don't need to be explained. Oh, sure, the centipede was killed because it's Titan stuff, and yeah, Aaron erased all Titans. Sure. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right, here's the post. Hmm. Okay. Just from the first sentence, I like where they're going with this. The fact that it provides no applicable message to people in real life. I'm guessing saying that's why they don't like it. The theme, according to people who like 139, is that we're all slaves to something. The way the story communicated this theme was by having Aaron, the boy who wanted freedom more than anyone, be a slave tool to Ymir. The problem is that the fact that we can't apply this to real life because we don't have 2,000-year-old ghost ladies with the ability to control members of our own race in real life. The way the theme of everyone's a slave to something no matter what is brought into the story isn't relatable to real life in the slightest. If, instead of mind-controlling ghost lady, we had Aaron be a slave to human compassion, his DNA or something that actually exists in real life, the theme would be much more poignant. I guess I have free will because I have no 2,000-year-old ghost ladies controlling me since my conception. Plus, Aaron having rom romantic feelings for Mikasa wasn't properly built up. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. Mm -hmm. With that point especially. Like, I shipped Aaron and Mikasa, but I didn't actually want an ending with them. I wanted, um, or at least... Not like that. It, it it didn't feel right. It didn't feel feel right. I would have been much happier with them, um, even though Aaron needed to die, with the ending being something of not blatantly romantic. Like if it was the like the idea of of the two of them living on living in the house and things like that, that alternate future kind of a thing. I love that because I believe Aaron might have wanted that right. Because it's also the return to their home and things like that, you know? But I, I don't buy that Aaron would have actually specifically wanted it to be romantic and that that would have been one of the things at the forefront of his mind and hence him focusing on that in the conversation. But okay, continuing with this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Plus, uh, Aaron having romantic feelings for Mikasa wasn't properly built up. Also, how Reiner had all of his arc being resolved off screen. Also, it completely ruins the Aaron uh, Ramsey conversation because the ending implies that Aaron never had free will. So he shouldn't even feel responsible for the rumbling since he mirrors the one controlling him the whole time. Also, with Mikasa weeping over Aaron three years later shows how she immediately regressed from her only character development in 138. Also, how Aaron ended up not solving the cycle of hatred whatsoever because parody is gearing up for war with their new Jaegerist government against the remaining 20% of humanity. So basically, Ymir made everything worse for everybody and still got a happy ending. While well, the protagonist, Mikasa, and the whole world got shafted. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Hmm. In chapter 123, Aaron asks Mikasa what he means to her. And looking back on it, it seems that was like that was Mikasa's big choice, and he wouldn't have done the rumbling if she confessed. He was looking for the reciprocate for reciprocation of his feelings, and that flashback takes place before he infiltrates Liberio and becomes the villain. Huh. Okay. Yeah. I feel like um Watch the video by Foxen. He explains a lot of the stuff. I feel like um, the biggest thing that the anime can add is not necessarily changing anything, but clarifying things, right? Clarifying things, doing more to sell things, you know? Um, okay. I understand you being frustrated about Falco being reduced to a transportation vehicle. But he didn't have an arc in the beginning. Anyways, he was there to protect Gabby. He didn't really grow much as a character. It, he represented something, right? He was the innocence and the hope for the next generation. And that's what he, that's what he was to the end. Huh. In the last chapter, when they're showing the Jaegerists on parody, hitches their yawning along with the chanting. Pretty funny if you missed it. Okay. Oh, Levi's ending. Yeah, I love that. That was great. That was great. Hmm. I think this ending will be better when previous chapters and episodes are fresher in your mind. Here's something that I don't get, that people don't get. The cycle of hatred will never end. Armin literally says conflict will never end, and that nothing, that's nothing surprising. This is literally just human nature. The scars of the sins of nations in the past still affects people today in our world, and that is the same as the world of Attack on Titan. I have no idea why people are mad at this. This is just how real life works. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Well, I'm... That's, that's why, that's the, that's the aspect of this ending that I like, is that humanity doesn't figure it out, but some of the people, some of the individuals figured it out. And they're going to keep trying, and humanity might get a little bit better. It's never going to be perfect, but the, it'll get, it got a little bit better. Didn't Yolanda die? Hmm. It's how real life works, but we don't go to fiction for real life shit. Sure. Yeah. And the idea that it ends up ending by simply removing the Titans and thereby removing the problem. It's like, couldn't that have been done earlier? Hmm.
Hmm. She got away with Kiyomi. Okay. Uh, I believe the way it works is that the Titans all got wiped out because it was Aaron's last thing that he did with the found. Well, mm, hold on. Last thing he did with Founding Titan's power, but Zeke was dead by that time. Maybe he linked it beforehand so that when he, when he died, the Titans would all end. You know? Uh, it was undone by Ymir when she saw Mikasa breaking free of her toxic love. Okay. If that's how it goes, though, then, or if that's how it went, I would definitely want to see more of that to make that clear. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So... All right, all right. The whole idea of of Reiner's Reiner's arc ending with a silly joke, I get why people are upset by that. I kind of am too. At the same time, because yeah, it's telling us what happened, but it's kind of all happening off screen, right? And but it did happen. So, like, while it's not, like, ideal in my mind, it's, it's something. Hmm. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, if Tina had eaten Bert, then you have... Hmm. Titan with royal blood. Well. Hmm. Oh, that's probably why she couldn't eat, eat Bert. That would have been all sorts of bad, right? Hmm. How does the ending impact your enjoyment of the rest of the manga? Ah, that is a good question. Um, a little bit, you know? Like, it it does take, take a little bit, you know, from my thoughts of the series as a whole. But at the same time, the journey was so damn good. The journey was so damn good. And... This is manga. I am curious to see how um, how the anime adapts it. And for a series like Attack on Titan, you don't need to have a perfect ending. It would have been nice, right? But even just an okay ending can do its job, right? But yeah, it does it does hurt the the series for me a little bit. But I don't know. I haven't really seen mo too many manga actually end. Like I've seen Silent Voice end, and I think that's about it as far as manga endings I've actually seen. Did I catch the see you later callback? Um, I don't think so. I 
I would agree if we did get an okay ending. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... I think what annoys me the most about the ending is Aaron. He contradicts some things he even said to himself in his head. You could reason it as him trying to convince himself he's in the right, but I think that's a bad way of setting up the I'm good twist. Hmm. Now that you know how it ends, would you have preferred a full rumbling? Why if that's the case? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't have wanted the rumbling to actually go full through and work. So, I... I don't know. Oh! Oh yeah, someone did mention to go back and check out chapter one. <laughs> That's right, because Crunchyroll only has like the first episode and then it skips like a chapter 115. Okay. Chapter. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. So we've got Erwin killing the Titan in the, you know, let this, let's teach this thing the power of the human race. And then see you later, Aaron. And then he wakes up. Okay. Okay. My favorite scene in Attack on Titan, the Aaron Ramsey discussion, is what I feel got the most damage because of this ending. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to think on this one because there, there are, there are gripes that I have. There are gripes that I have with the ending for sure, right? <sighs> that being said, I, I think it's page fourteen is also part of the foreshadowing. Uh, when did your hair get so long? <laughs> Aaron, why are you crying? Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, there's the whole thing of, like, him, you know... That's, that's just the Paz thing. I mean, we've known about that, you know, that he basically experienced the story. Like, that's something that we more or less knew for since the beginning. But it was a question of what the details mean. Attack on Titan ended at 134 for me. Oh, the cross on the tree on page 114, on page 14 is where his grave is. Wait a minute. Let, let's 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 see this. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. On the, what would that be the the fifth panel of page fourteen? Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm not... Exactly, Zenimax. That's not, that's why I'm not too worried. The main thing that this ending needs is just some extra content, right? And that that's easy for the anime to add. It's not fundamentally changing what happens. It's just doing, doing the due diligence to make sure that the audience is sold on what happens.
Hmm. Hmm. I don't think that fully works, Yo-Yo Neil, because even if you spent four years with Mikasa in the Paths world, that um that doesn't feel good from a narrative perspective. Because that's basically saying that he didn't like her until the very end, and then it happens off screen and all of a sudden he likes her. It's like, hmm, really? I'm like, nah, nah. I get the idea that the words that he said back then of, you know, I've always hated you, Mikasa, and stuff, is so that then she can break free and kill him, right? But... It almost felt like there was a, like the whole thing of Eren, you know, the Eremika kind of sort of ending was because it's like Eren's the main character. There needs to be some kind of main character. Who, what girl does he end up with? Which, eh, uh, mm. Yeah, I am curious to see how Isayama responds to this, basically. Like. Yeah. Oh, also, after Reiner admits he was the one who killed Aaron's mother, Aaron tells him they are the same. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no! This is a this is a one-time stream for Attack on Titan Umbra Umbra Moon and I, yeah, no, I I I don't do these on the regular. This is just for Attack on Titan because Attack on Titan special. Yeah, Historia's character, Historia's character definitely got shafted. Yeah, yeah, because it's like this whole like mystery thing, but and yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, and this is this is one of the things that's important to understand about stories that go on for a long time like this and get as sensational as they as they as Attack on Titan, right? Fans will never be satisfied. There will always be some imaginary ending that will be better than what you actually get, and that doesn't that doesn't exist. It doesn't happen. You can't please everybody. That being said, there are things about this ending that I feel like could have been better. But they're fixable. So, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I believe Isayama's big mistake was introducing time travel. Stories of time travel only work when you have them thought out from the start. And Isayama clearly didn't plan the whole Aaron made his father kill Frida stuff. Well, okay. I I disagree on that aspect, uh, Spooked Trek. I think the way that Isayama handled the time travel aspects of everything, fantastic. With the exception of the interactions between Aaron and Ymir. Because... Because... Um, And this is something where I guess we'll just have to see if they if they change it or give more focus, extra content to highlight things in the anime. But I want to I want to have there to I want there to be more focus on what the lesson of Aaron is, basically, right? Because the biggest problem I feel like with how it is currently or how it seems to be is that Aaron's agency was taken away, and then the way the characters respond to Aaron, eh, you know leave something to be desired right but the actual time travel stuff itself i think that was that was handled quite well because it's it's mysterious it's 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 not perfect right with with like it's not perfect control over time and things like that right so it doesn't cause too many plot holes right and and it's mysterious enough that you don't have to get into the nuts and bolts of what is time travel and what isn't you know
Yeah, that your fate is determined and can't do anything about it. Right, because that's because the whole point of Aaron and why we loved him in the beginning was because he raged against the idea of that, right? Because he was all about freedom and things like that. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh. Oh, some people theorize that Aaron had Historia not involved in all of this because he wanted her to handle the situation post the rumbling. That I believe. That I believe, yeah. That it's something where he's basically saying, no, 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 no. I'm setting up the fact that hopefully the peace talks will actually work. Historia is the queen. She'll be able to, you know, rein things in on the parody side. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I'm glad that Mikasa got a bittersweet ending. If anything, I wish it had been more bittersweet. Oh, no, yeah. I, no, I get the whole thing you missed. Yeah, I, that if Titan Powers had been removed earlier, parody would have just been wiped out. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. That was, uh, that was the end of Attack on Titan manga. I'm... Very curious for how, how the anime handles it. Um, yeah, this will be interesting. This will indeed be interesting. <sighs> but okay. Thank you for watching this, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being on this wonderful, crazy ride. The era of Attack on Titan is coming to a close. And in another year, it will be over. It will actually be over. I don't know how I'll handle that, but okay. Rating on the show out of 10, I don't like doing that. I don't like doing that. Um, rating shows numerically, or stories numerically, that is a that is trying to take something that is emotional and, and um, not quantifiable and quantify it. Reduce it down to numbers and logic. And that's not what stories are. That's not what stories are. You can try and do that, and you can get a lot out of it, but you're leaving so much on the table. But, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that the anime will improve the ending, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, what is my life even going to be now? World without Attack on Titan. I mean, I mean, it's not like it's been a constant because it's, you know, gap for season two and time in between seasons and everything, but the very concept that Attack on Titan is going to finish blows my mind that it is finished. Not sure if it's true, but I think that Aceyama announced that he's doing five additional pages. That, I think, could really help. Yeah, and regardless of the ending, thank you, Aceyama. Yeah, here's the thing, guys. Even if the ending, even if you didn't like it, even if you didn't like it, even if the anime doesn't smooth over things in the ending, even if Isayama doesn't do the five extra pages, Isayama did a fucking amazing job getting us to this point. The fact that the big problem that we're having with Attack on Titan right now is the final chapter, the final chapter, that's ridiculous. That is insane. Oh, yeah, the final chapter out of 139 chapters. Oh, darn, less than 1% of the story. Now, very important, less than 1% of the story. Maybe the most important, right? But Isayama gave us an incredibly, incredible, amazing thing. That can't be taken away from us, even though the ending, if you, know, if you don't like it, I, I, I get that. But, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy. So what will you answer to Caleb's inevitable question of how did you like the ending? That's a that's a good question I'll leave this stream on. So I don't think I will actually I don't think I'll answer it. Because I don't want to color his opinion of it either. And it's, and it's too complicated to, to really answer without going into spoilers. Regardless of whether I go into detailed spoilers or just general impressionistic, still veiled spoilers, you know? I don't want to change his emotional, like, 
Tom. Uh, how he emotionally goes into it, you know? Um. Tell him you forgot and then smile mysteriously. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh. I am so happy for this journey though. Even if the anime doesn't fix things or whatever. There's there were still enough things that I really liked about the ending that I yeah. No. Oh boy. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, everyone, for showing up to this, this stream. We do a bunch of other streams throughout the week, all at 3 p.m. Pacific time, Monday through Friday. Mondays, we do podcasts. We talk about storytelling and anime and all that good shit. Tuesdays, we do One Piece dramatic manga readings with crazy voices and things like that. You should definitely check those out. It's awesome. So much fun. Wednesdays, Caleb does gaming. I believe he's starting Fury this week. He might have already started it last week. I'm not sure. But yeah, he does that. And then Thursdays and Fridays, I do gaming, which is near Automata right now. And oh boy. Uh, I am on to the third segment of the story. I'm not going to say anything else in case, you know, people aren't familiar with Nier. But yeah. And that's a thing. I'm excited to see where it goes. Last stream was a bit a bit hectic, I will admit. It was, you know, tensions got high. We you know, we could say, but uh I'm very excited. Anyway. That's it. I have been Jacob of Semblance of Sanity. I love you very much. I will see you next time, but for now, good night and take care. Attack on Titans over everyone. Attack on Titan is over. No, I'm not going to tell Caleb Tataka. No. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, I... So, Attack on Titan... This might not even have time for this. But Attack on Titan was one of the stories that really inspired me as a writer. It made me want to... to tackle some of the same themes that it, that it tackled and... And just, I enjoyed it so much, I, I couldn't help but want to to sort of recreate it as, as my own thing somehow, in some way, shape, or fashion. And that hasn't changed as a result of this ending, right? Because I, it's actually kind of comforting to me to know that, yes, Isayama also is mortal, just like the rest of us, right? With all the crazy shit he pulled that was so wonderful. Yeah, there were some rough patches at the end, but... But damn, if it wasn't an amazing journey, we still have that. And let's we'll see what the anime does with it. Take care, everybody.